The story of the whole demise of Dallas is getting interesting, and here's another good example. Barbara Balgettis was the first Miss Ellie. She left the show and was replaced by Donna Reed, Miss Ellie 2. Donna Reed was sensationally axed after only one season, only to be replaced by Barbara Balgettis, the original Miss Ellie. Miss Ellie Ewing was the family matriarch and Bobby and JR's mama. These scenes are from one of her most memorable storylines, where diagnosed with breast cancer, she is facing up to a mastectomy. Jack. <sighs> I'm deformed. <laughs> Off screen, Barbara suffered health problems, and this was given at the time as the reason for her departure. But stories have come out since which suggest otherwise. She wanted a little more money, and she had a manager at the time who thought she was, had more clout than she did. I mean, you don't make these moves unless you know you got the clout. The producers refused to pay more money, and so Barbara decided to leave. After she left the show, I said, Barbara, for God's sake, why didn't you talk to me? We could have squared this whole thing. I've got all the clout in the world. I could have solved it just by saying, this is the way it's going to be. She's got a car to drive her any place she wants to. She doesn't work as much as she gets more money. That's how it works, boys. Simple. But no, she believed in her guy. And, and finally she came back to the show, and that was a debacle, too, because the lady who played her part was very hurt by her dismissal. Donna Reed, a.k.a. Miss Ellie Mark II, was one of Hollywood's leading ladies, an Oscar-winning star who had appeared in the movie classics From Here to Eternity and It's a Wonderful Life. There she is. Welcome home, Mama. This is Donna Reed's Welcome first home, appearance on the show. The unexplained changing face of Miss Ellie didn't go down well with fans, and rumour had it with certain cast members. How did Larry Hagman react to Donna Reed coming on to the show as Miss Ellie? I know he was very fond of Barbara and felt like she was the perfect... And I don't think he was ever pleased with Donna Reed. You know when you're welcome in someone's home. You know how people, and you know when you're not. And I don't think from my chats with her that she ever felt uh, really accepted. I'd love to speak to Donna Reed, but sadly she's no longer with us. However, her son Tony has agreed to meet me and talk publicly for the first time ever about her experiences on the set of Dallas. There was this, began to be this sort of undercurrent and this, she was beginning to feel as though she was being put on the outside of, I guess you could call it the inner circle. She would come home and she'd be in tears about some of the ways she was treated. And here she was supposed to be, I guess, one of the main characters in the show. Is that the impression that your mum got that she wasn't wanted? I would say it eventually got to that point. but. At the same time, being the trooper that she is, and, have been in, and having been around Hollywood for numerous years, she has basically said, all right, I'm going to do my job. I'm going to do it the best way I, I know how. And I'm going to try, while I'm on set, not to let this stuff bother me. However, Donna didn't get the chance to work on the show for much longer. The producer suddenly axed her so they could bring Barbara back. She was sort of under the impression that, you know, there were health issues with Barbara, Barbara Belgetti's, but here suddenly she's back in a year. My mother was stunned at that type of treatment. She'd never been treated like this before in her entire career. It was tragically mishandled. So do you think when Donna Reed was brought in as the replacement for Barbara Belgetti's, that Donna Reed was led to believe that this was now going to be her role? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, no doubt about it. Yeah, I mean, she didn't know Barbara was going to come back. That must have been tough. Oh, horrible. And she died shortly afterwards, too. Mm hmm Bad news. But that's show business. Bobby's stiff rising from the dead was hard to swallow. But Miss Ellie's extreme makeover and all those backstage bust-ups have quite literally blown my mind. And with just over 24 hours till my oil baron's ball, I feel like beating myself stupid because I've got only one confirmed guest and I'm seriously running out of time.